After the introduction of hydrogen-powered vehicles, Toyota is about to drop another bombshell on the vehicle industry. If you thought hydrogen-powered vehicles were the future, think again. Toyota is about to introduce a water-powered vehicle engine innovation. Toyota is working on an engine that is not powered by gasoline or hydrogen, but by water. This is something that has not been done in the major automotive industry. Well, it's not surprising, given the vehicle brand behind this unique innovation. Recall that months ago, Toyota made headlines for developing quite a similar innovation. The hydrogen combustion engine and the fuel cell electric vehicles, which convert hydrogen to electricity to power their electric cars. Unlike Toyota FC Versus, the mechanism of operation of this water-powered vehicle engine is quite different. This is 100% real. Join me in this video as we explore this and what it could mean for the automotive industry. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos. When fed with water, the vehicle would simultaneously separate the hydrogen and oxygen gas through a reaction called a dissociation reaction. This happens at a fast rate especially as the electrodes release voltage. Upon reaching the engine, the hydrogen molecules are then converted to compressed natural gas. At this point, the engine now operates as a CNG-powered vehicle. Just like in the manufacture of the CNG-powered vehicle, attention is paid to ensuring that the piston and cylinder are armored to prevent explosion due to hydrogen volatility. As you can guess, Water power vehicles would result in a lot of benefits for the ecosystem and the economies of countries that adopt them. Climate change is one of the most pressing issues of our time, and transportation is a significant contributor to greenhouse gas emissions. To put into perspective, the transportation sector alone accounts for about 27% of total U.S. greenhouse emissions. With water-powered vehicle innovation, that issue can be solved there would be a significant decrease in air pollution, resulting in a greener and healthier Earth for humans to live in. The abundance of water is the selling point of this innovation. With an abundance of water, we'd never have to worry about fuel shortages or price hikes again due to market fluctuations. Just imagine the money and stress that would be saved, especially by businesses that rely on gasoline or even electricity. The availability of water as a source of fuel for water-powered vehicles could also have a significant effect on the extraction of minerals used in EV production, such as uranium and other metals. If water-powered vehicles were to become the dominant form of transportation, the demand for electric vehicles would likely decrease. As a result, the demand for minerals like uranium and lithium would also decrease, leading to a reduction in their extraction. This reduction in extraction would have several benefits. For one, it would help to conserve these minerals for future use. It would also reduce the environmental impact of mining, which can be a destructive and polluting process, especially for water bodies. Finally, it would help to reduce the risks associated with the extraction and processing of these minerals, such as the risk of accidents and the exposure of workers to hazardous materials. But one could argue that the impact of water in water-powered vehicles and hydrogen in hydrogen-powered vehicles is the same since they offer the same benefits. Well, let's check out the cost to take into consideration when weighing the two options. When it comes to storage conditions, both water and hydrogen have their unique requirements. However, a closer comparison reveals that water is a more practical and safer option for storage. As mentioned earlier, Hydrogen is a very volatile and highly flammable gas and, hence, requires extreme caution in handling and storage. To store hydrogen safely, it must be stored in high-pressure tanks of between 350 to 700 bar, which are heavy and potentially hazardous. Furthermore, hydrogen is prone to leakage, which can lead to accidents and injuries. In contrast, Water is a non-toxic and non-flammable substance that can be easily recycled. It can be stored in lightweight, low-pressure tanks, eliminating the need for heavy, high-pressure containers. For water-powered engines, the design is straightforward. Manufacturers like Toyota can leverage existing technology and manufacturing expertise to produce these engines. On the other hand, Hydrogen-powered engines are quite complex as they require a system of fuel cells 
electrolyzers, and power converters to generate electricity from hydrogen. So, when putting these two fuel sources alongside each other, water-powered engine vehicles are the clear winner. Since we've seen that water-powered vehicles are the cleanest and safest form of fuel for vehicles, the question then pops. Why has water as a fuel for vehicles not been explored? The truth is that attempts to use water as fuel in vehicles have been explored by some independent scientists. In 2016, an Iranian scientist named Aledin Kasimi unveiled his modified vehicle, a car that could supposedly be powered by using potassium hydroxide and distilled water. The engineer said in the video that the car could run on 60 liters of water and travel up to 900 kilometers. He was not the only one. This next person's innovation was among the first news of water power vehicles that ever existed. His name was Stanley Allen Meyer. Stanley Meyer was one of the first to invest in a water-powered vehicle. The news of this development was met with bitterness by the big oil companies. After several fights alongside his brother against opposers, Stanley Meyer's death remains a controversy to this day. While official autopsy reports revealed that he died of a cerebral aneurysm, Stanley Meyer's brother claimed he died due to poisoning from some businessmen who disguised as interested investors. Regardless of his actual cause of death, his constant battle with opposers of this idea shows that this idea was not solely embraced by people inside and outside the automobile industry. Just like every other innovation in the vehicle industry, the water-powered vehicle has its challenges that would need to be overcome. One of the challenges facing the adoption of water-powered vehicles is the lack of scientific validation. So far, there have been many experimental works on the topic of water-powered vehicles. However, these works fail to provide real and conclusive evidence of the effectiveness of these vehicles. As a result, the development of these water-powered vehicles has been hindered, making their adoption slimmer by the day. Another big challenge Toyota would have to face if this innovation pulled through is stiff opposition from other stakeholders. Top stakeholders and representatives from oil companies, gasoline-powered vehicle manufacturers, and EV manufacturers could pose a big threat to this innovation. One reason is that it could result in the loss of significant revenue and market share for these brands. A big tussle that could last for years would likely arise. Is Toyota ready for all of this? Well, only the success of the innovation by Toyota would tell. No one can deny the fact that water-powered vehicles would be a game-changer in the vehicle industry. Even the thought of it would excite you already. However, before it is officially introduced, Toyota would have to be ready for the episodes of events to come. Would you be there when happens? Subscribe to our YouTube channel and turn on notifications to stay up to date.